Hello everybody, welcome back to the MedBros channel and today we're going to be covering another huge change to the medical school testing curriculum. Whereas we've already covered step one being pass no pass, I know with COVID there's been a lot of changes with the most recent change being that step two CS, which was the clinical skills part of the exam, is now canceled forever. I cannot emphasize to you how awesome that is. I hated this exam. What made it especially worse for me is I signed up for this exam late, so I actually had to fly out of state to take this garbage exam where the entire thing is just a joke. And just a heads up, I'm in that phase right now where I'm kind of hibernating before I have to go 100% because I'm about to go to the ICU after tomorrow. Being a new resident physician in Southern California, which is one of the hardest hit places, I'm gonna need to be my 100%. So I apologize for sitting here in a bathrobe. I did wanna shout out that next week we finally launch our merch. So stay tuned guys. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. I am so excited to see you guys wearing our merch and be sure if you guys do wear your merch and post it, make sure to tag us in it so we can put you guys on our pages. You can look at the data and the analytics of how garbage this exam was, but from somebody that has actually taken it, I can't emphasize how much this does not have any correlation of what kind of doctor you're gonna be, how well you're gonna do in terms of seeing patients. The one thing it might do is a last ditch effort a last ditch wall to make sure those absolutely incompetent individuals do not go on to become physicians oh doc i have a stomach ache i don't know what i just ate oh uh, yeah i think just take some pepto-bismol the exam was essentially showing up, introducing yourself, asking the right questions out of a template, doing some basic physical exam, giving what you think the answer might be, which was a huge list of choices on a differential because they would say very generic stuff like abdominal pain. If you got something on that right, you would pass. Really a huge waste of time. Another reason why it was a waste of time was that all medical school curriculums have built in these skills practice stations where you work with, you know, whether it be a simulated patient or your instructors, you work it through and learn how to talk to patients. The whole experience was just terrible. I had to get on a flight, fly over there, spend a night at the hotel, then go ahead and take this exam that takes all day. And a lot of it was just like, it was very basic, but some of it was a little creepy. Like there would be a girl who came in with a sprained ankle and she was supposed to be eight years old, but it was clearly 30 years old. So when you walk in there, it like threw me off and she was like acting like a baby at the same time. And that threw me off. I was like, she's like, oh, my knee hurt. And she's like 35 years old. I was like, what's going on? Like that freaked me out right there. And the, I think I, I might've run out of time on that one or something. Cause I was just so thrown off. I was like, oh, uh, your knee hurts, huh? Like little kid slash grown woman. So rejoice all you medical students out there that you don't have to take this another burden off of your shoulders. So now you guys might be thinking step one is now pass no pass, CS is out of the way, COVID has knocked out things like sub internships or, or very limited sub internships and very limited exposure to a bunch of different opportunities to show yourself as a good student for uh, residency how are you going to be differentiated? That is why more than ever, one exam is going to be elevated to the top of all of these requirements, and that is going to be step two CK. I think it's funny with the decision to make step one pass, no pass, it kind of elevated step two CK to such a high degree now where it's kind of backfired on them. And for those of you out there that don't think it's going to be that important, I have had personal interactions with program directors and other individuals on the committee that have emphasized that step two CK is going to be very important. So you know MedBros is going to have your back for that one. So I've already already shot the step two CK ultimate guide because I did really well in step one and just as well on step two, which with very minimal studying for step two, which you will hear about on that with my plan. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going to be posting that super soon. We also have a bunch of other channel announcements going to be coming up very soon. We're going to switch things up. Just want to get that quick video out there. I'm going to go sit in bed now, cuddle up with some coffee and uh, read on how to treat sepsis and COVID-19 current guidelines are changing every single day. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.